What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a super simple video for most people, but for some people this may be incredibly useful. So today I'm going to be running through the absolute basics of setting up and using roles on your Discord server, which allows people to moderate, be admins, etc, etc. Of course, you probably won't be watching this video if you already know what's going on, but if you don't, then this video may be of some help to you. So heading across to my Discord server over here, you can see there's a couple of channels and there's a couple of different roles as some of them have different colors. Though for this video, I'm gonna go through and remove all of the existing roles and start from scratch. Right, so I've got a couple of channels on the left. There are absolutely no roles on the server other than this one over here added by one of the bots. Now, of course, when you invite bots to your server, you get the option to give it permissions. And if you were to give it permissions in that checkbox, you'd get a role that you cannot adjust or cannot remove. So just keep that in mind. If you add a bot to your server, it may create its own role. And if I quickly click through these channels, this top one over here doesn't have any bots or people in it. If you're curious about how to create a channel that doesn't allow bots into it, make sure to check the description down below. But of course, there aren't people in this one as I'm the only one with permissions to see it. If we were to right click on a channel and edit channel, head across to the permissions window, we can see a bunch of options that we can allow or deny or simply leave blank to let the role decide if they can do an action or not. On the left, we can select a role or a member and we can individually allow permissions for each person or role group. Though of course, I currently have no roles on my server. I'll simply head across to the server settings in the top left and roles and I'll simply create a couple of roles. Usually first you'll create an owner role as such and you'll give it the administrator perm. The administrator permission over here grants absolutely everything on this page, regardless of whether they're set or not. These two up here are really simple. The first one over here displays them separately on the right hand side list. And this one over here allows people to add the role. Then after saving it, we've now created our first role. And over here, we have the ability to drag them up or down. What exactly does this mean? Well, I'll create a couple of roles just to show you. Next up, you'll probably want some sort of admin role. Admins have a ton of permissions on the server, though I might not want them to have absolutely everything. Admins usually have permission to absolutely everything the owner does. So if we give them the administrator perm, they get everything below this point and I'll display them separately. And also I'll allow people to add them. Saving it, we've now created a second role. Third, I'll create a mod role, which is usually for moderators. Now, of course, you don't need all of these roles, I'm just creating them as simple examples. Now for the moderators, I usually wouldn't want them changing something like the server's location, etc, etc. So I won't be giving them the administrator perm, which means that scrolling down, we'll need to go through each and every one of these options and check what we'd like them to have access to. This top group over here is general permissions and controls things like seeing the server log, managing the server and roles below it, managing members, nicknames, emojis, webhooks, and a bunch of text permissions down here. Now, these text permissions over here, such as sending messages, managing messages, etc., etc., apply to this role on any of the channels. Say that I give them the send messages permission. If I want to go ahead and edit, say, the general chat over here, permissions, and add the moderator role, which we allow to send messages. If I have a hyphen here, which is the middle option, it'll use the role's default setting for this. So, moderator, they have the ability to send messages. So leaving it as a slash like this, we'll simply check the role and ask it, are they allowed to send messages or are they not allowed to send messages in this channel? Of course, if they have the administrator perm, all of these are bypassed as well. So I'll simply go across to owner over here and I'll say it's not allowed to read messages or send messages. Then I'll save changes, close out of it, and I'll give owner to myself. Now, of course, because this is my server, I have absolute permissions to everything. And if I was a different account and wasn't the owner, if I'm given the owner group over here with the administrator tag, I can simply talk in a channel that I'm completely blocked from. Having a look at the edit channel options over here, you can see the owner shouldn't have permissions to read or send messages. Though, because I have the administrator perm on that group, I simply bypass all of these. However, if I were to go to the mod section, and even though I clicked allow send messages, if I were to hit the cross over here, moderators would no longer be allowed to send messages to this channel. Even though if I go and have a look at the actual role itself, you can see that send messages is on. Why is that? Well, that's simply because channel permissions override group permissions. Super simple. Now that we've got most of the basics out of the way, how exactly do administrators change permissions for roles below them? 
Well, I'll go ahead and demonstrate exactly what that means. Heading into the role menu over here, the owner can change just about anything on the server because they have the administrator tag over here, and of course, because I own the server. As you can see, I can drag and drop these to reorder them. If I were to place the admin and owner up here above this bot role, save changes, any owners or admins can change any of the permissions of people below them in this list. However, if a moderator logged on and said, hey, I'd like to manage permissions on the server. If I scroll down on the list over here and make sure to give them the manage roles permission, meaning they can edit or delete roles below them as such, save, they wouldn't be able to change any of our permissions up here as owner, admins, or even the zero bot. The only thing that they'd be allowed to change permissions for is the everyone group over here. By default, when people join the server, they're given this everyone group and you're not able to remove it from anyone because it includes everyone on the server. However, if I were to drag the mod group up here, save changes, all of a sudden, because the mod group have the manage roles permission, they're able to change what permissions the zero group over here has. If I were to position it above admin, save changes, they'd be able to change what permissions the admin group have. So of course, the order of roles here is incredibly important. Usually you'd have it in decreasing power. Owner has everything, admins have almost everything, moderators have less, then you have VIPs and the rest of the people. Scrolling down on this list even further, past the text permissions, we get to voice permissions. Now, of course, these permissions over here are very similar to the text permissions, though they only affect, you guessed it, voice channels. If I go ahead and create a voice channel over here and edit the channel settings, permissions, you can see that there are a bunch of individual options once again. The slash over here in the center means it'll use the roles permissions, and I can either deny or allow access to whatever setting on this page. While most of these are similar, they're not exactly the same as a text channel's permissions, though you do have things like visibility, whether they can see the text or voice channel, and whether they can join. And of course, there's also different moderator permissions where people can move other users in or out of the voice channel. I'll quickly go ahead and make sure display it separately is checked. When I hit save and head back to the list, you can see I'm nice and separated with my own little role tag just above my name. And everyone else in the server is below me. Of course, they'll be divided into their own groups if I check that for another role. Then one of the tips that you'll find incredibly useful if you're trying to edit a bunch of channels like this over here, simply create a group as such by right-clicking and clicking Create Category. Then after giving it a name, creating it, you can add channels into this group. And when you do, if you right-click on the actual channel divider up here and click Edit Category, Permissions, you'll be able to change permissions for every channel that it has inside of it. If I were to scroll down to say mention at everyone at here and roles, turn this off and click save changes. If I were to go back and right click this bot channel over here, edit channel, permissions, you'll see this at the very top, permissions synced with name. This is the name of the category. Scrolling down, you'll see that mention at everyone and at here is turned off. If we go ahead and add a different channel over here, We'll get a pop-up over here saying that the permissions are not the same. We can either keep current channel permissions or click sync permissions. And when we do that, if we edit the channel permissions, you'll see that mentioning everyone has been turned off. Though if we click the checkbox as such, then we can edit the bot channel over here and you can see it's still synced. But if we edit this channel over here that we just changed the permissions to, you can see that instead of saying permissions are synced, it gives me the option to sync now. If I click this, it'll take all the permissions from here and adjust them so that they match with the actual category itself. Now, as long as it doesn't have that sync now button, if you were to go ahead and edit the actual category, then whatever you change will instantaneously be edited for all of the sub channels like this text channel over here and the bot channel down here as well. Then back to that mention roles thing that we were at earlier, if we go ahead and check the server settings roles, as you can see, the owner can be added, the admin can be added, but the moderators can't. What exactly does that mean? Well, opening up a text channel, I can do at followed by a person's name or a group's name. So I can add the owner and I'll get a pop-up saying I've been added. Of course, everyone else in this group will have the same thing. I can go ahead and add the admin group, but because I'm not part of it, it's not highlighted in yellow. If I give myself the admin permission as such, you'll see that I still haven't got a pop-up. This only applies for new messages that are sent after you're given the permission. Reloading Discord may actually get this to work, not entirely sure. 
but we've added ourselves and because we've disabled the at for different roles, normal users shouldn't be able to add that role. Though of course, because I'm the owner of the Discord server and I have the administrator perm, I bypass everything else and I'm able to add them. Though if I were to do this on a different account without permissions, I wouldn't be able to add the moderator role. I'd only be able to add the owner role and the admin role. However, mod, I wouldn't be able to. But with all of that out of the way, there is extra help over here. If you head into the roles menu and click this button over here, you'll get taken to a Discord help article that'll tell you some information about different roles and the rest of it. Though, of course, this video should have given you enough information to get you started and get you going on your server. The only really important things to remember are do not give anyone this administrator perm over here unless you're absolutely sure that you want to give them absolute power. But besides that, that's basically everything. Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.